Good evening, Serrano families. My name is David Young, and I'm the principal of Serrano Intermediate School. And I wanna thank you all for joining me here for Back to School Night. The majority of students who are successful in school have a support structure around them. You're taking time to watch this video and your teacher's presentation is evidence of your support at home. Even though we're separated in terms of location tonight, and in this unusual beginning to our school year, we're united together in the singular goal of seeing your stu students learn, grow, and mature and reach their potential. While distance learning is probably the last thing you were expecting for your seventh and eighth grader when you were in elementary school, I wanna let you know that this is not the same experience for students as last spring. We're calling this Distance Learning 2.0, and we have a host of new expectations for both students and staff. We have a new schedule. Mondays are designed for teachers and students to connect in each of their classes in a synchronous manner through 30 minute live sessions. So that's all six classes on Monday will meet. The weekly agenda for our teachers will be posted by 8 a.m. on Monday morning. So your students should be ready for the week. There will be an average of two to three assignments per week with approximately three to three and a half hours of work per week per class. On Tuesday through Friday, teachers will spend 20 to 30 minutes of each instructional period to interact with students in a synchronous or a live manner. And we only have three classes on each of those days. So those and those classes will be up to 60 minutes long. We do have Tuesday through Friday. In the afternoons, we have academic support time. Four times a week, this time will be provided to students who may be struggling with a concept, a lesson, or an assignment in any of their classes. Teachers will be inviting students to attend these sessions. You can see the individual breakdown of those sessions on our website and the schedule that's there. And this will take place from 1245 to two o'clock from Tuesday through Friday each week. If you or your student would like to attend one of these sessions, please contact your teacher for more information on how you can be involved in it. Students also have guidelines of what to expect and what they should be doing in this distance learning environment. First and foremost, attend all of your live class sessions. Be an active participant. And by active, I mean participating verbally, but also being seen. We like to say camera equals connected. So cameras equal connections. Students can also stay organized and I'm gonna have Ms. Branley show you that in just a couple of minutes. We also want students to communicate with their teachers, ask questions, seek clarification, request help when you need it. And also follow all Zoom guidelines or online meeting guidelines. Parents, you can also help out too. Provide an environment for your students to work, work distraction-free. Encourage them in keeping a routine or a schedule that aligns with school, getting a good night's rest, getting up in the morning as if they were going to the normal school day, and also help motivate them to do their best. Encourage them, support them, give them a consequence if they need a consequence, good or, or less than good. Keep in contact with teachers, parents. This is the number one thing that uh, will, will assist your students in, in helping them. Use the parent portal to know if your students are being successful by checking their assignments, checking their grades. Now, I'd like to introduce you to our seventh grade assistant principal, Ms. Branley, to show you a tool we designed specifically to help your students be more organized and successful. Thank you, Mr. Young. Hi, Serrano community. I am Ms. Branley, your seventh grade assistant principal. And I'm here to tell you about a tool that we have created here at Serrano to help your kiddos stay organized during this learning time. And the planner looks like this. Now, as the support for your kiddos, you are, there are three things that you need to know about this planner to help them out. First of all, what is it? So the planner is the tool that we have that helps your kids track the different pieces of learning 
during this time. So we know that in this learning era, we, your kids have a lot to keep track of. They have to keep track of the live meetings that they need to attend, as well as the independent work, all the assignments that your teachers give out that your kids need to do outside of those live meetings. And so the planner is a way for your students to record all of their live meetings, as well as all of their assignments. It's also a way for us at Serrano to push out some information to your kids about uh, school-wide announcements, right? Resources that can help them out, some how-to videos, and some ways that they can be successful. So each week, your students will receive a new copy of the digital planner through their PE classes. They will receive the planner on Monday, and they need to fill it out for each of their periods and for each day that they have a live meeting or that they have work that has been assigned or is due, they'll need to fill in the box for that class so that they can keep track of their live instruction as well as their independent work. And then finally, what is the expectation? So each week, not only will your kiddo get a new copy of the planner on Monday, but then on Friday, they will need to turn that planner in to, your, to their PE teachers um, so that we as a school can look those over and make sure that our kiddos are being successful. And if they are not, if they're having trouble organizing themselves, then we know that maybe we need to reach out and give that kid a little bit of additional support. In addition, this is a tool for you to help keep track of what's going on in your kid's um, school life so your child can share this with you once they filled it out or you can print it out and hang it on the wall and then you know for each period what the child what your student needs to do for their live instruction what meetings that they need to attend and what assignments they need to work on and when those assignments are due um, it also has the bell schedule for each week in there as well as like I said um, some tips and some tricks and some announcements for staying informed and staying as we say in the know, right? One of our success strategies for our Seahawks, um, staying connected kind of a school during this time. So each week they'll get a new version of this. They'll use it as a tool to organize themselves. And then on Friday, they'll turn it into their PE teachers um, who will look those over and make sure that your kiddos are being successful with one of the key components of learning during this time, which is organizing all of the pieces of their learning. Uh, thanks so much, Seahawks. I uh, hope you have a great back to school night and back to you, Mr. Young. Thanks, Ms. Brandley. Parents, you can also use this tool to help keep your students accountable and organized. One of the major concerns regarding distance learning for us is the isolation that it puts us all in, especially our students who at this age thrive with interaction and peer relationships. When we're at school, it's so much easier to see students who struggle with social or emotional needs and get them the support that they need. With distance learning, it's much harder, but we have two amazing counselors who are always here to support our students. And here they are to share a little bit about the resources that they provide. Hi everyone, I am Miss Light. I am the seventh grade school counselor. I am here every other Wednesday and then every Thursday and Friday. However, I'm always available via email for anything that you may need. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions, concerns. Um, I'm here to help support you. Hi, Serrano parents and students. I'm Mrs. Bean, your eighth grade counselor here at Serrano Intermediate School. I'm here for you for a variety of resources, academic and social emotional support. I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. You can get a hold of me by email, by my office phone, my Google phone, or text, or you can also ask to Zoom with me and I'd love to have a face-to-face -face interaction with you whenever possible. One great resource that I wanted to tell you about is our counseling website. To get to our counseling website, you would go to Serrano's website. You'll see this pop up for distance learning. However, you can close it out under academics and counseling. You go to the counseling website. Here you can see there's a ton of information and different resources as well as our contact information. Back up at the top on the left-hand side here, you'll see that there's also a tab for distance learning for counseling resources. Here you can click see all the different resources and then scroll down if your student wants to talk to us, they can fill out that form and we will reach out to them. 
Over here again on this side under resources is another great thing for students to explore and it's our counseling corner. By clicking on this, you can see it's our little virtual counseling office that has tons of different links uh, for students to explore. So you can see here that we have one that you can click to do our sortivities. So those are different career and college activities. You can just click the link. You can also click this Be Kind video, but there's tons of different links and we'll be updating and putting new things. So those some resources that we have available for parents and students are our parent universities and we also have an Instagram page. For parent universities, these are for parents only and they are hour-long workshops that we will hold once a month on the second Thursday of that month. They will be via Zoom and they will be recorded. So if you can't catch us on live Zoom, then you can always go to our website and find the recorded Parent University there. And hopefully you'll find information that you've learned from those workshops to be valuable and helpful for you as a parent. Another way to stay up to date with guidance and know what's going on at school is to follow us on Instagram. We have an Instagram post on our website so you can see our link and we will post things throughout the year on there so that you know what's going on with guidance and what you need to stay up to date on. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Beam and Ms. Blake. Parents, I encourage you to take advantage of the parent universities that are offered by our counselors. These resources are so beneficial and they will help support you and your student even more. Now, I would like to introduce you to someone who can show you how you can support Serrano in some tasty ways, too. Good evening, parents. Did you know Serrano offers a science and engineering fair, an art competition, student assemblies on important trending topics for our children? Our Serrano PTSA is a sponsor of these critical programs, and we collaborate very closely with our school teachers and staff to make these student enrichment programs happen. My name is Prashanti Satyaprakash and I'm your Serrano PTSA president for this year. I really wish we had this conversation in person, but given where we're at, we're still gonna do our best. We're in this together, we're stronger together, and we're gonna make this a fantastic year for our children. Our PTSA links families to important school and community information, and we strive real hard to host educational and fun events for every family in our school. As you can see on the screen here, our Serrano PTSA offers multiple programs for our student enrichment. I hope you agree with me that all of these programs, such as the science fair, student assemblies, library support, art inspirations, are all critical and very importantly appreciating our teachers and staff who do so much for our children. To support these enrichment programs, we are requesting you to please consider becoming a PTSA member. Now, we do not sell product here from our PTSA. Our membership drive, your straight donations, and restaurant nights are the only fundraisers we are going to have for this upcoming year. By joining our PTSA, you support your student and every single child in our school. Now, joining our PTSA does not mean that you have to volunteer your time. Of course, we'd love to have you volunteer, but your membership funds help support all of the programs that we just talked about. There are two levels of membership this year. We have a $30 for the family membership and a $12 for an individual membership. You can find more details on our Serrano PTSA website. And in terms of what to expect in the next few weeks, we have a general meeting coming up on September 14th at 6.30 p.m., a virtual meeting. Uh, September 30th is going to be no cooking for any of our Serrano families because we're requesting you to please join our Brizio's, Brizio's Dinner Takeout fundraiser where 50% of the funds come straight to our Serrano PTSA. And last but not the least, we have reflections coming up on October 12th. And the theme this year is I Matter Because. This is our Serrano PTSA Executive Board for 2020 and 21. On behalf of our team, I want to thank you so much for listening to me today. Bye. Parents, will you join Prashanti in your support for Serrano? We'll see you at Brizio's later this month.
As I get to send you off to your classrooms, I'm sure most of you have the one question I receive most often from people, and that is, when do we get to return to school? As you've probably seen on the news, the opinions, the statistics, the health requirements are ever changing. So this is a really tough question. However, as Orange County is awaiting clearance to return, our numbers do look promising as of today. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that we'll be able to return soon. But whenever we get the opportunity to return, I wanna assure you that we're taking every precaution to keep your students and our staff safe and healthy. Here's our eighth grade assistant principal, Mr. Rubio, to give you a peek at how we're preparing for the eventual return of our students. Thank you, Mr. Young. Hello, Serrano families. My name is Joel Rubio, and I am the eighth grade assistant principal, and one of my responsibilities is to oversee facilities. As Mr. Young stated, I am sure you have many questions as to how the school is preparing for our Seahawks to come back. That being said, I would like to take you on a quick tour and show you just a little bit of what our custodians and support staff have been working on for these last couple of months as we get ready for your students to return to Serrano. As you can see from the images, students will be welcomed onto campus with signs that allow for one-way traffic throughout campus. As you make your way through the building, you will see arrows that clearly mark the traffic flow throughout the building. These one-way arrows will be pointing to students on a clockwork rotation as they move throughout the building. We will have clearly defined signs where they allow students to come in through certain areas and only exit through others. Let's take a quick look in one of the classrooms. As you can see in Mr. Ray's classroom, we have set up the classroom in a manner that students will be learning as they are distanced from one another. In addition to this, we have placed dividers on every desk to allow for more protection as the students learn and continue on their education. The classroom has been provided with plenty of cleaning supplies in case that they are needed. Now let's walk into Ms. Valente's innovative classroom and you will see a similar setup to that of Mr. Ray's. Just like Mr. Ray's, the setup is somewhat similar with ample room between each desk and plenty of covering on the desktops. Just like Mr. Ray, we have plenty of cleaning supplies that will be provided for teacher and students in this room. Along with that, we will be placing washing stations throughout the campus. This will allow students to wash their hands and clean up as they move from one class to the next. As you can see, our support and custodial staff have been working diligently to ensure the safety and health of our students. They've been sanitizing rooms, cleaning rooms, and ensuring that the tags and labels are placed everywhere. We will continue to work to ensure that your students are here to learn and have a safe and healthy environment. Thank you. Now back to you, Mr. Young. Thank you, Mr. Rubio. Once again, I want to thank all of you for taking the time to watch this presentation. Despite the crazy start, this is going to be a great year. I thank you for your support of Serrano. And now I'd like you to take a look below this video and the title, and you'll see a link that will direct you to all of our teachers' presentation links. You'll be able to click on them and go straight to their classroom or straight to their presentation. You do need to know your student's schedule to make sure you go to the correct class. You can find your student's schedule by logging into your parent portal. You can also find this information and all of this information on our website. Thanks for watching and enjoy back to school night.